Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Kobe here and today let me just talk about my Paris experience Paris? Because me and my family we traveled to Paris last December, we spent a few days there and this video is not directly but sponsored by Ryanair and we stayed in a hotel, it's called the St. Vincent Hotel When we traveled to Paris, we stayed in an apartment and Vicky said, no, Gabi, you can't make an optimal review about someone else's home. You can't see any bad about it. That's fine, no worries. So I made a lot of photos, you will see on my Instagram feed, but man, when the people heard I'm not gonna make an optimal review in Paris, they got mental. They went on the street, they started protesting. Optimal, optimal. They set a fire, no public transport for days. Even Ryanair canceled our flight. So this is why we had to stay in a hotel, which was the St. Vincent Hotel, sponsored by Ryanair. First time when we arrived, it was around 7ish in the afternoon, when we already realized that there was going to be an issue with the communication, because not many people speak in English in this hotel, in this country either, and we're not speaking French. Anyway, we somehow we figured out that there's going to be dinner from 7 o'clock, I was like, woohoo, I'm hungry! I'm always hungry, by the way. We got a table, and there was like two other tables next to us. The waitress came to the table and probably, because I didn't understand what she said, she said, just relax, I'm coming to take your order. It's fine. And probably because of the cancellation, roughly like 200 people came into the building at the same time, I saw the shock on her face. And about 20 minutes later, I thought, hmm, she's not coming. She's not coming to take our order. And I start seeing like a queue at the till. At least we should get a menu or something. There was a board, menu on the top. Hmm. What should we eat? And I couldn't understand a word. We Google translate the whole board while we're waiting in the queue. And then we made the food order. And this was the first night. Straight away they said, there is no dinner tomorrow guys. No dinner, that's for sure. I hate you. So something about like one and a half hour, we finished our dinner and we went into the room. It was lovely. It was just what we needed. And you know, because it was free, I don't really want to complain. So thank you, Ryanair. Thank you. Highly appreciated. The only issue we had, it was the communication because the four language where I can speak on wasn't enough and not just specifically in this hotel. If you want to go there, just make sure you prepare something like a Google Translate or anything. But come on guys. It's the 21st century, just a little bit of English, please. I know my English is not the best, not perfect, but at least a little. Please. The room was very nice and clean and warm and quiet, just what we needed for. And if you go probably on a regular day, not when everyone's from Ryanair goes there in the same time, it should be a lot better. But anyways, they need more stuff, in my opinion. Because shit happens. So yeah, I hope no one's got hurt because of the joke of the protest, because you know, I love the spirit. If you want to fight for something, just keep it up, guys. But before you go on the street again, just subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more upcoming optimal review. Goodbye.